I guess it is kind of my fault. I forgot the freaking laser weapon I just developed. Jesus Christ, what do I want? Shame. Perhaps we can improve our equipment somehow so this doesn't happen again. Remember, we will be watching. Thank you. Yes, equipment. How's everyone in the barracks doing? Fuck. This is not going great. This is like the opposite of great. The power supply system recovered from the alien craft are perhaps the most important piece of technology we've retrieved so far. Although we could spend years researching the intricacies of this equipment, the urgency of our development process means we had only rely on theoretical analysis more than I would prefer. Despite the risk involved in attempting to reverse engineer this technology, we made a number of small steps towards a fully adapted power cell. Our most important discovery so far, the element we've been referring to as Illyrium, is the vital component that provides nearly limitless energy to the alien power cells. Although there is still much to learn, we believe this it should be possible for the engineering team to begin assembling a makeshift power cell based on our initial findings, which may prove useful in our development of an advanced fighter craft. However, we will certainly want to do further analysis of the alien element that fuels the alien's power systems. Okay, I want to know more about these freaking guys. Weighing in at over 275 kilograms, the majority of which is simply muscle and bow, this crew is adapted well suited for the rigors of frontline combat. I want to this know more. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. I want to know who they are and how they keep cracking our skulls because I don't remember the other agents being nearly as bad as this. <sighs> Standing well over two meters tall, the ratio of this subject's lean muscle to the rest of its body mass is staggering. Its bones are highly durable yet very light in weight and seems to lack extra muscular fatty tissue of any kind. There is no part of this subject that has not been genetically engineered for combat. These muttons, a moniker given by the troops, have clearly been bred and modified from birth with every enhancement contributing to its function as a sort of organic tank. As such, the muttons are capable of withstanding otherworldly amounts of damage that seem to have incredible tolerance for pain. During the autopsy, we also note a variety of ritualistic markings and unusual tattoos, which imply some sort of past tribal structure among the mutant species. We also note a number of distinctive similarities between the genetic structure of the mutant and floater specimens. Although I can only guess as to the aliens' intentions, it certainly appears that the floater may have one time been mutants themselves. If the aliens have been experimented with the mutant physiology, perhaps the floaters are a byproduct of their less successful attempt at genetic manipulation. We may be able to get further insight into the creative combat capabilities by tackling another example in the field in the unit analysis view. I should probably find out how that works. Mutant armor contains several motors that function as automatic weapon loads, allowing the weapons to carry more ammunition without requiring the soldiers to pause for a full reload. We would apply some of the same techniques to old weapons. Yes. Let's go to the foundry. Mutant armor consists of some... Yes, we need more alloy and such, but otherwise this will probably be something we should get. We finally found a workable solution to the heat dissipation issue we struggled with when we attempt to create a more powerful laser weapon for our troops. Although this warrant still operates near the limit of what would ordinarily be considered safe operating temperatures, we believe it is stable enough at this point to begin fabrication and engineering. While developing this heavy laser for our troops, we also blueprint the variations suitable for mounting to our interceptors. Attaching this weapon to one of the ship's hardpoints should provide a significant boost in firepower to our pilots when engaging the alien craft. Heavy laser. Now we can push the label to swipe out the operational minigun or the ship units currently used in favor of a laser cannon. We 
don't have enough troops, we might just have to replace them with robots. Ah, uh, money is of course an issue. This is something we have a lot of, we don't need. It doesn't look like it. We simply have no choice but to hope this situation improves. The alien attacks have become more frequent. Our casualty rate has climbed. Our troop shortage is becoming a problem. We should start screening potential candidates at the barracks immediately. At least the recruits are getting with Scrooge back, and Ronald Darnold will be back soon, so... <sighs> Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Accepts. We need to reduce panic around over here. We have to go back to Argentina. Hopefully, a more veteran team will help out with this. Sending in newbies might have been a bad move, in hindsight. Oh, that reminds me. Weapons. I should not forget this. Alright. Haven't gotten the heavy lasers yet. At least we have a full team now. I'm sorry, you'll have to go without a modern weapon. Kid. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. I'd say. Alright, let's do this and <sighs> cross our fingers. Man, this is tough. I mean, things have been brutal before, but jeez Louise. At least a full complement of soldiers. Team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Hmm, cars are a bit hard to discern. I think we've got Rana here. Clusia <laughs> here. New scoops here. Okay. At least, get me, at least you guys are mo so much tougher than the old ones. You can take the f fire. S take some heat. Alright, Reclusia, go behind this car. Alright, so they're probably hiding inside that building, I guess. Over here. Yes, join over here. You too. Everyone, keep an eye out. There you go. 
that wanda all right rana advance keep an eye out look sharp enemies rolling up they rana get behind there no sorry scrooge <laughs> rana you're there advance and shoot them um, if you can You're standing by a flaming car right now, I notice. That's bad. Um. Please don't explode yet, car. I need to pull Rana back from there. Murdering them, which is a good thing. Rana's response to going into panic: "You're not gonna take me alive, idiot! Stop!" Even when he's freaking out of his mind, the guy's slaughtering them, <laughs> which is actually kind of fitting in a very weird way. No, uh, don't worry, soldier boy. We'll patch you up. Who's got the medkit? I think. Anybody got a medkit? You got the medkit. All right, there. Then get up and patch him up a bit. Dude's response to getting a car blown up in his face is apparently to go absolutely batshit crazy and start polarizing aliens. I mean, I'm not complaining, but sheets. Two doors open. <laughs> I'd say I don't blame them. Shh. I think I heard something. Yeah, um, that was the aliens crapping their pants. Don't move, you'll be fine. There, much better, right, Rana? All right, um, uh, follow them through the ginormous hole you just made. This is for all the soldiers you, well, I, people think like you murdered last time. I guess you should be careful about advancing too much. I might be having a nasty surprises somewhere. There, good cover over there. And no explosions. Lost visual contacts on the aliens.
Dumb place to land. No, that is not good. Moving to firing position. Let Rona show you how it's done. Shoot to kill. Nailed him. Going in for the kill. All right. Advance and kill. Get Ron some a bit of backup, will ya? Okay. Down. And you were uh, somebody in one importance. All right. Confirmed. Now we are talking. What are you gonna do now? The thing's hiding. It's rude. The thing think it thinks it can hide. Do you think you can prove it wrong? If nothing else, you should make it easier for the rest of us to hit it. I'm ready. All right, you get ready to flank it. Advance. It's poking out of the doorway. We nailed it, Commander. Yes. Accomplished. That's how we do it. Whew. Yeah, he's. They're panning over there now. And Australia's going freaking out. The United States are freaking out. Would you all just take a deep breath? We're doing what we can, but we only have one transport plane and only so many troops. We need money. Ronald needs a, a, a hospital vacation. Again. Reclusion has been promoted, so let's see. Alright, he's already got... He's, al he's already a field medic. Why didn't I give him the med kit? How stupid of me. A female sniper, finally! Commander. Wait, are we still researching something? 
I didn't start a new one? Oh, somebody. Let's do an autopsy of these. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Yes. In any case, we had we took some beatings and stuff, but we managed to get our new equipment and along with our veteran soldiers. Seems like things are turning around a bit. Oh, well, God knows what we're gonna be facing next. Those mutts. Jeez. It's been Eric Copeland. It's been Let's Play XCOM Blind. See you around.